Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new playthrough, a brand new release. This game just released today from the makers of Gone Home, a game that I played many years ago, way before the term walking simulator was uh, keyed by the gaming community, all right? At that point, it was the first kind of game of that first-person perspective exploration kind of narrative game that I had ever played, and I didn't know anything about it. And I really did enjoy Gone Home. I thought that it was a really well-done game, a game that uh, had a gripping story that pulled you along but made you at the same time think that maybe there was a supernatural element to it, right? And you didn't really know what was going on. Um, sadly, I hate to, to admit this, but over the years you know, that I've done this, people seem to have this really negative uh, as association with this style of game, saying, oh, it's too easy to make, there's not, there's not enough gameplay elements, it's basically just a movie, you should just watch a movie or whatever. Some games, in that case, I agree, and some games, I disagree. It all depends on the game. Um, some games, like Soma, a few years ago, I think did it, the formula really well. Or Firewatch, as well, which was out last year. I really liked those ways that those games took the walking, walking simulator style and adapted a story to be kind of an immersive, interactive thing. Versus some other games that I played, like Everyone's Gone to the Rapture, where I think that should have just been, like, a, a book. Okay, um, so in some cases I agree, in some cases I disagree. The fact that this game is made by the same people who made Gone Home, a game that in a lot of ways ma made more mainstream this kind of game, makes me have high hopes for it, but at the same time I hope that my hopes aren't so high that I end up wanting more out of the game than what it delivers, alright? Now, <clears throat> the premise of Tacoma is that, as you can see here, it says it right on the screen, it's the year 2088, and there's a corporation that has an AI, artificial intelligence, running a space station. Something happened and all the people who lost contact. Like, there's no contact with the space station. You are an agent who's getting sent out to the space station to find out what the hell happened. Uh, are the people alive or dead? Where did they go? What happened with the AI? Because the company basically feels they invested tons of money in this thing. And they don't just want this AI to go to waste or be taken over or stolen by someone else when it's their property. Um... So it's kind of rescue mission, but also save the company property. So I'm sure they're going to have that kind of overtones of corporate greed and stuff in it as well. So, interested in seeing how this is going to be. Um, the fact that it has a more futuristic setting may make it a little bit more interesting than a lot of the other walking simulators that we've played over the years. I guess we're going to find out, okay? All right, everyone. Let's do it. Let's check it out, Tacoma. Let's see what it is. And I want to forewarn everyone. First time I'm booting the game, I don't know what volume it is. It could be really fucking loud. So get ready to lower your speakers. Just in case. <laughs> Fulbright. I think that's the name of the studio. Fulbright. Oof. Press A to start. I did. What the fuck? It was delay. What? What the fuck? Dude, there was delay at the title screen. I don't even know if subtitles are enabled now. I guess we'll see. And if they're not, I'll have to restart. The title screen was delayed. Oh my god. Not a not a good sign. Not a good sign. <clears throat> All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Well, guess what? No subtitles, so let's turn them on. Subtitles. There we go. Engaging retro now. Oh wow. It's a really obnoxious fucking voice. Tacoma. Mini is the ship AI. Station Tacoma. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Ah. Station AI? Offline. Air supply? Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. 
Okay. Okay, mini. I wanted the Donald AI. What? <laughs> oh, wait, those were the Tasmanian Devil AI. Yeah, I'm okay with the Tasmanian Devil AI. What? What? I'm docking now. <laughs> the volume's just kind of low. Nice. Thanks, Minnie. Her shoes turned green. Wait a minute, now she ha What the fuck? She disappeared. I was hoping you could see her legs, but no. Nope. Obsidian class. Install verified. Open the airlock door. Minnie, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. What about the space pirates okay. that are coming just to scan you right now? <clears throat> what is this? What the fuck? Take a hardware. A hardware. I'm trying to read it. I was trying to read it. Hardware transmits critical audiovisual information directly to your sensory cortex. Okay. One for the left nipple, one for the right. Go ahead. What are you doing? No, it's not the nipples. Ah. Hello. Pre recorded I message. Am Odin. Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, Ooh. guests, aboard. I also have a sensuous voice. Your station mm -hmm. profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking mm -hmm. systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. Please remove all your clothes and prepare for lovemaking. <laughs> yes. Now play patty cake, patty cake baker's man. With Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. S J W Ninny. That's my identity. Here we go. I entered it. Of course you know sign language. All S J Ws have mastered every form of sign language. We know this. While so aboard Tacoma be... Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. They have to be... All activity Would you shut up? ...sole property of the Ventures shut up? Corporation. Any questions about privacy and personal privacy... Whoa! Jesus. Okay, then. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I can't Tacoma Station data network warning. Massive data loss detected. Recoverable AR data found entering the data recovery mode. Oh, look. Just wait to the Tacoma Dome. Bring your friends. Or don't. Huh. So there's all kinds of different wings. I wonder if these wings will open up later as we gain more access. You know, look, access denied to engineering. Access denied to cryogenics. Access denied to biomedical. Oh, look, they had a, uh, there was a basketball room. I guess this is where they did, like, uh, you know, free time and stuff and physical fitness. I'm not sure how to... There's no, like, lift... There's no, like, lift or fall button here, I guess. Nothing like Earth. Press the... Press this button to toggle your AR desktop. Whoa! <clears throat> what is this? California Republic. California American. 
What does that mean? California American. All right, zoom in is left trigger. Like nothing on earth. Personnel. Personnel is open. All right. Going in the personnel. Right? So anyway, what I was going to say earlier before the guy wouldn't shut the fuck up is, as you know, SJWs must master forms of sign language so they can communicate with every single person on the planet who has hearing impairment, because if they don't, that's being bigoted and prejudiced. So, you know. Wow, what, what's going on here? The game's locking up. Whoa. Now entering the personnel module. So they hide loading by basically having, oh, sis, what, T, yes, T, T what? What is all this, T? For Venturist Technology, subcontractor Farrier, the company has remotely disabled the station's AI ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma or contact you via the station's AR net. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Huh. I wonder why. It says you were supposed to go. So I went the right way. It says I was supposed to go here. Okay. I wonder why they don't want me to communicate with the AI. What happened on the station that they don't want me to talk to it at all? Huh. 